Hey guys, Sachiko des. Um, I am currently puppy sitting in Tokorozawa and I thought it might be fun to take this time and connect with you guys. I received a lot of comments on Max's interview and my channel about my accent and um, I had a couple of questions about whether I found it difficult to stay true to specifically like British English. So I thought I might take this time to just um, talk to you guys about it. I think in order to explain, I need to tell you guys how I actually learned English. So my parents were very good about making sure that I was raised bilingual. So this meant I spoke English in the house and I spoke Japanese outside the house, right? So So up until 18 years old, that was the only English I really heard. While I had English teachers at school who spoke American English, my parents were very particular about how I spoke and yeah, I think I had a very clean English accent until I left home. <laughs> um, when I left home, I started meeting people from all over the world. So that meant, of course, English people, American people, Australian people, Irish, uh, Scottish, Welsh, um, did I say South African? Um, so many nationalities and at this point I was not so confident in my English so I was really excited to talk to different people and learn all I could about everything. I would learn new words, I would learn new phrases but I never knew if they were English English or like American English, Aussie English etc etc. So I learned to pick up loads of different phrases for all over the place including of course my entertainment which was mostly Hollywood films but this was also when I was told that I sound like a 200 year old woman probably because one of my favorite shows is the BBC series Pride and Prejudice I love that series and I probably sounded like that so understandable that I sounded kind of old-fashioned but I was slightly self-conscious about sounding really old so uh, I started trying to speak like a young person uh, and I think that might have ended up in me starting to drop my T's, starting to try and use slang etc etc so I completely understand that my accent is all over the place because I'm literally learning English from everybody from all over the world and actually the same is said for my Japanese as well で、私の実家は和島、あの、石川県和島市なんですけど、和島弁っていうのが歴史あって、で、それを子供時代にもずっと話してたわけなんですけど、そこから大学で福井県に行った時にまた福井にも方言があって、福井弁に染まってしまった
日本語でも方言とかダイレクトアクセントに対してすごく敏感になってしまってますだから even in English I have a kind of mixed accent and in Japanese もう何弁かわからないジャズ弁サッチ弁みたいな感じでもうどことなく混ざってしまった複雑な状態になっているということです So that's Like, just because I'm so sensitive to language and the difference in the way people speak, I just assimilate it and mix it all together to make this unique kind of way of speaking, I guess. And I hope you guys don't have a problem with it because that's just the way I speak.、Um, maybe when I go to a different country, I'll start speaking like them too. So stay tuned, I guess.、Um, I hope this、um, enlightened you guys a little bit. で、あの、これね、興味持っていただいたんで、あの、動画にしてみましたけど、これから、あの、他にも質問とか、なんか、え、それどうなんみたいなのがあったら、ぜひ、あの、どんどんどんどん、あの、コメントください。あの、また動画作っていきたいと思います。Ciao for now! 変わらず温かいご支援のお言葉、ずっとありがとうございます。Thank you so much for all the support and kind Words that you've been sending my way. I really appreciate it and I am so sorry that I haven't been able to update you guys on my travels as much as I would like. I am doing my best, but technical difficulties, inexperience, all the excuses. But I have loads of ideas and I'm so excited to start connecting with you guys more.